I am back with another problem and this problem is the problem number 20 in the exercise of the classical mechanics by Goldstein. In this problem the Lagrangian for a system is given and we are asked to find the equation of motion in terms of x of t and also describe its physical nature of the system. So let us start. Ok so now you can see this Lagrangian function and all we have to do is to differentiate it partially once with respect to x and once with respect to x dot so the first term does not contain x so when i differentiate it with respect to x so th this term will go zero and in the second term i will get m x dot square partial v by partial x minus 2v into partial v by partial x because it is given in the question that v is a differentiable function of x since v is the only function of x so i can change this partial derivative into total derivative so i can write this mx dot square dv by dx minus 2v into dv by dx so that's all for partial l by partial x next i have to find its partial derivative with respect to x dot so only first and second term contains x dot so these two terms will get differentiated while the third term will vanish so from first term i will get m square x dot cube by 3 plus 2 m x dot v of x now i need to differentiate with respect to time so the first term contains only one variable while the second term contains two variables that is x dot and v of x so from first term i will get m square x dot square x double dot and from the second term i can differentiate it using the product rule so this becomes 2m the derivative of first that is the x double dot and second as it is then plus first as it is in the derivative of second term which is dv by dt but since we know that dv by dt can be written as dv by dt into dx by dx so this dx by dt is x dot and we get dv by dx so in short i can write this x dot dv by dt as x dot x dot dv by dx so i can put it here as you see in the arrow so this equation becomes m square x dot square x double dot plus 2m x double dot v of x plus x dot square dv by dx so i can subtract these two equation and i will get this equation the first term is the time derivative of the differentiated equation with respect to x dot and the second term this one is from partial l by partial x so now you can see here these two terms are same so 2 minus 1 is 1 so i can simplify this fashion so i will get only four terms so in this equation you see the first term and the third term term there are certain parameters that can be taken as a common so i can take this m x dot square as a common from these two terms so i will get m x double dot plus dv by dx and from the second and fourth term i can take this 2 v x as a common so i i can get m x double dot plus dv by dx and this is equal to zero and using the factorization rule i can write m x double dot plus dv by dx into mx dot square plus 2v of x is equal to 0 so since we know this potential is a differential function of x so uh, if this potential is conservative so i can derive a force from this in this fashion so it means this dv by dx is equal to minus f that's what i have written here and this mx dot square is equal to 2t since t is equal to half mx dot square and next we have 2v and this is equal to 0 so simplifying this i can get f minus mx double dot into t plus v is equal to 0 the first the terms in first bracket are force minus acceleration and the second uh, bracket contains the sum of kinetic energy and potential energy the physical meaning of this equation is that uh, that for so this dynamical system the 
force the the difference of force and acceleration is zero or the sum of kinetic energy and potential energy is zero so that's all for today thank you so much for watching